I think you will remember three years ago the debate on the AOJP in this House. Mr. Lau said, this bill covers, referring to that bill, covers stock at coffee shops, makes the government the sole decision maker of public interest. Elements are similar to the ISA, Internal Security Act, all actually completely inaccurate. He said, and I quote, I stand by what I say based on my understanding of the effect and implication of the bill if passed. For instance, there is a definition of publication and according to clause two of the bill, a person is said to have published something when he communicates even orally or even if it is just one member of the public so that I think it applies to people who talk, discuss at coffee shops. And then he said, Madam, what I'm most uncomfortable with is clause three, four of the bill, three sub, Clause 4 of the bill that gives the government the right to make statements and allows the government to become the sole interpreter and decision maker of what constitutes public interest. And this, I smell a similar element in the Internal Security Act. My response at that time, I said, this is a strange case. The Minister of Law, who puts up the bill after extensive consultation with the courts, I keep saying, I kept saying ad nauseum that the law was the same as before it was uh, common law, and it's intended to be the same on those clauses that you refer to. And Mr. Lau disagreed with me. He said the law is different in respect of the clauses that you referred to, but was unable to explain how, why the bill changed the law, as Mr. Lau claimed. There were other clauses uh, where, you know, there was a change, and I explained in that long debate what the changes were and where it was the same. Likewise, in this bill, I have explained why the bill is narrower. No response. And as I said during the AOJPA, so how does a person sitting in a coffee shop in Haugang saying that something is wrong in the courts, how does that statement impact on either the judge or the witnesses or the proceedings? I mean, it's common sense. When you're trying to frighten people unnecessarily saying that people in coffee shops now can't talk after the AOJPA was passed, and ISA, and you know, they cannot sit there and have their coffee and talk about court cases. I said that's completely inaccurate. It's been three years since then. Coffee shops, I think, have grown louder since then. I don't think it has prevented talk. So after all that talk of chill and fear, I can tell you coffee shops in Yishun don't even think of the AOJPA. And I'm sure it's the same in Hong Kong and Aljuniet and everywhere else in Singapore. Quite vibrant. And we want it to be so. So what Mr. Lau says about this bill amassing power isn't quite right. And Mr. Lau must know that. Just as he would have known that what he said about the AOJPA actually was not accurate. So what's the purpose of saying this? Because people listening to Mr. Lau might be misled. 